Hello Jay, today I will teach you how to use the weighing scale. But, I already know that chef. I know that you know how to put things on the weighing scale, but I am going to tell you why it is important to follow weights and measures in the kitchen. Alright, I would love to know that. Every recipe we make will have an ingredient list along with weight of every ingredient. To use the weighing scale, ensure the weight is at zero. Then place the ingredient on top of the scale. Allow it to show the final reading. Why should we allow the reading to stop? If we do not allow the reading to stop, we may get a wrong result. If you are following a recipe your dish may go wrong. So what did you learn today? I learned that we need to weigh every ingredient and follow the recipe. I also learned that in order to weigh every ingredient properly, I need to wait for the number on the weighing scale to stop moving. So Jay learned how to measure the ingredients and weight everything properly today. But before you go remember clean as you go. Clean the weighing scale before you put it back. To learn more about the fundamentals of cooking and other departments, visit clarifiedbetter.com and enroll for the various courses available on the site.